Uh, as you well, probably you know that through history, uh, I was born in Ajijic, even my great grandfathers and mother and all these people. And the lake has gone up and down several times. And uh, back in 1984, I was a teenager. I was like my son's age over there, the one who's taking photographs. <laughs> and I remember that the lake was very shallow, very low, very low. And you will find people digging on the shore of the lake. And I said, what, what, what is going on here? You know, they were digging and searching little pottery clay. Mm -hmm. See? Let me show you. You can help me to show them, okay? This idol here is not 500 years old. This is 6,000 years old. Okay? This is 550 more or less years old. This is newer. Okay? This belongs to the Coca tribe before the Aztecs. And this belongs to the Aztecs. Okay? The Aztecs came from New Mexico. It was not still a culture as Aztecs. It was a whole bunch of barbarian people. Okay? Later on, some place in the south of the states or north of the border of Mexico, they were together mixed the, the Chichimeca and the Tolteca. So that was basically where the Aztecs came from. Okay? They met in a place called uh, Chico Mostoc, a place of seven <coughs> caves. Seven caves. And their uh, leader, a spiritual leader, tell, told them that there were seven tribes. One of these tribes, it was the Mexica, Mexica. That's the name of Mexico comes from. There were, there were seven tribes of the, uh, of the uh, Nahuatlaca, okay? And these seven, one of them is Mexica tribe. And they said, go and search for water. So they spread in a place called La Quemada near Zacatecas. Okay, they spread in two, two ways. One went to Lake Texcoco and the other one came to Lake Chapala mm -hmm. in search for water. Okay, the ones that, that went to uh, Mexico, they find an eagle with a snake, a rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. Where they see that, they shall make their land there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they make the greatest city of uh, Mesoamerica, which was called Tenochtitlan, mm -hmm. the city that the Spanish destroyed, mm -hmm. okay? On the other hand, the guys that came from the Occident, they end up mm -hmm. in Colima. They fight against the Tecos. The Tecos, it was another tribe. And the Aztecs cannot, when they, they did not went down, they blocked in, in Colima, and they came to La Sierra del Tigre, uh -huh. which is over here. La Sierra del Tigre, and they end up from Mezcala, they came to Ajijic and these, these areas here. These are the Mexica tribe. Came, they came in uh, 1127. This information comes from the, uh, 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 an, an Spanish monk. He was a uh, uh, Franciscan. He was here a hundred years later after the conquest of Occident, of Jalisco, Michoacán, and Colima. Okay, and he, after a hundred years in a convent in Etzatlan, Tlajomulco, somewhere, he wrote the story from uh, Petencatl. Petencatl was an Indian from the Mexica uh, a tribe. Back in those days, according to the chrono chronicles, they have Nahuatlos. Nahuatlos are people that knew Nahuatl and Spanish. Mm -hmm. And through those Nahuatlos, uh, Fray Antonio Tello wrote the story. <clears throat> and they sa he said 
his tribes came along and and back in 1127 they end up in Colima some of they spread around the Lake Chapala mm -hmm. so if you see these little villages around the Lake Chapala before the Spanish came there were already villages there mm -hmm. from the Cocas and from the Mexica okay that's where my race comes from half Indian half Spanish mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so the during the uh, Mexican Revolution um, there was a, 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 I will I will say my grandmother she was born in, in a convent in 1885 my grandmother mm -hmm. and her great-grandfather was a scribner of this convent mm -hmm. I have uh, documents from the 1700s mm -hmm. 1800s and all this it's an inventory of this monastery so she we got a story from that from 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 uh, from from this legend that came Indians that came to the lake we found we rescued that from this convent mm -hmm. and this convent talks about these people that came in 1127 to Lake Chapala when they look at the lake <coughs> they start the chronicle says that the lake was abundant of water a lot of good climate a lot of uh, good lots of species of, of, uh, of uh, fish mm -hmm. and a good habitat and a lot, a, lot, a lot of birds they call it Mar Chapalico in the, in the script, in scriptures okay so these people the Aztecs they created a goddess because they thought that the lake had a spirit of a woman they thought that this spirit it was a fertility as a woman so they call it Teo Michisiwali Michin means fish and Siwali means princess. That's where the term comes from. Okay? We found this information, there's a codex in the Vatican, and it talks about that. Okay? So a lot of people uh, ignore that, but, uh, but there's in the Vatican. I was in Italy five years ago. Okay? And uh, that's some people, they think it's, a, it's an invent, but this is. A myth that comes from 1521 okay so this is my interpretation of this goddess okay and these are the pre-columbian figures here let me show you see where did you find me I find this in the lake in 1985 they were throwing to the lake as offerings because they thought that the lake has had a spirit of a woman they they imagine a goddess a goddess of the lake okay okay so uh, many of the uh, local people are not aware of it they think it's an, an invent of me or, or other people there's writings about that so my brother and i we are he's he knows a, a little bit of anthropology and we are rescuing these legends from our ancestors okay bueno este a ver is yeah. this some of what you're saying in your book that you're writing? Yes, I'm about to finish a book that I'm I'm writing. It will be Are we going to 13 see? years of search. I want to finish. I want to <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to translate? In English and in German. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe Danish. Yes. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Why not Dutch? <laughs> Why not? Huh? Okay. So there's. Uh, is there any questions about? Uh, yes. So there must be lots of those in the lake because if they were not anymore. They were thousands yes. back in 1984. There were thousands, not, not hundreds. Mm -hmm. So when we went to the shore of the lake. Mm -hmm. In that time, I was a teenager. I was in a high school in Chapala, Secundaria Chapala, mm -hmm. and we were Daniel Palma, Juan Navarro, all these whole boy, whole bunch of artists with, that we came to the children's art program. Mm -hmm. We went digging along with the other people. Mm -hmm. We went all the shore of the lake, and there was a, a river called La Zapota. Now it's the development of Los Arroyos, mm -hmm. but that river the conjunction of the lake we find a whole bunch of this pre-columbian mm. stuff oh. and my brother says let's follow the, the river up mm. so we did guess what we end up in a big form of a rock as a form of as a turtle ah. we 
we stand up there. We stand up there because our grandfather and grandmothers told us that the ahi, all the hihi was there. So we knew more or less. We were a little bit stoned and teenagers. And all that. <laughs> Looks like a turtle. Anyways, no, 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 no. Uh, any, anyways, so there was a whole, a whole flat surface from the from the uh, river from uh, La Zapota all the way to a uh, uh, river the Rio este Alceseca. There was a flat surface. We said, hey, let's. There's something in here. We were standing on this rock. There's something, uh, something is there. So we start searching around all this uh, piece of flat land. We find a whole bunch of pre-Columbian stuff oh, made wow. of stone. Mm. Wow. Some are were not very well done. Some of them very well done. And my brother says, you know what? There's different periods of people mm. and different times, mm. okay? My friend, uh, Daniel Palma, he says, come on, you guys, I got something here. What is it? It was a surface like 40 by 20 meters, wow. white dirt. And just be beside that, it was a disc of a stone about this big, carved, broken. See? And underneath, there was a ruin of a pyramid, we think. Wow. wow. See? Wow. We talked to this man, Otto Chondube. He's an anthropologist. He's still, he's a German descendant. He lives in Guadalajara. And we read some of his information to talk about that uh, a shaft tomb mm -hmm. is very old from these people. This, that came from there. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Shaft tomb. Yes. Wow. Uh, two skeletons, no head. Hmm. Because according to the, to, the, to, to the writings, to the history, they used to have a calendar of 50, 52 years calendar. So they somehow, they knew that the, the, the conquistadors that were coming, they would come to be slaves and all that. So this is skeletons, no head. We find a whole bunch of jewelry and we, we rescue a lot of those things. And that's for the for the museum that we're mm. talking about. Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Just a question, completely unrelated, but I'm so curious at your symbology that you use in your artwork. Well, well, okay. The yes, this bureau is in is in the Centro Cultural Ajijic, the whole the whole yeah, thing. So okay. That. But the essence of the mural is the lake, the moon, and the woman. Three elements, feminine elements. Mm -hmm. And each one has a cycle every month. So under that trilogy, I, I inspired to create this mural. Mm -hmm. Because I find out that uh, they were very, very linked to the, uh, the moon and the, and, and the lake. They knew the airs and all this kind of climate. Okay, I don't know if that answers your question. Okay.